Welcome to Brightly Storytime. I'm Miss Linda. Today, we're going to read How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Llama Llama Holiday Drama. There's an elf in your book. The Christmas Puppy. Let's read together. How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. Every who down in Whoville liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch, who lived just north of Whoville, did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his head wasn't screwed on just right. It could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But, whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve, hating the Who's. Staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm, lighted windows below in their town. For he knew every Who down in Whoville beneath was busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas. It's practically here. Then he growled, with his Grinch fingers nervously drumming. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. For tomorrow, he knew. All the Who girls and boys would wake bright and early They'd rush for their toys. And then, oh, the noise. Oh, the noise, 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 noise. That's one thing he hated. The noise, 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 noise. Then the Who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast. And they'd feast. And they'd feast. And they'd feast, 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 feast. They would feast on who pudding and rare who roast beast, which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. And then they'd do something he liked least of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing, they'd stand hand in hand, and the Who's would start singing. They'd sing, and they'd sing, and they'd sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought of this Who Christmas sing, the more the Grinch thought, I must stop this whole thing. Why, for 53 years, I've put up with it now. I must stop this Christmas from coming. But how? Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do, the Grinch laughed in his throat. And he made a quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and clucked. What a great Grinchy trick. With this coat and this hat, I look just like Saint Nick. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around. But since reindeer are scarce, there was none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No, the Grinch simply said, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max, then he took some red thread, and he tied a big horn on the top of his head. Then he loaded some bags and some old empty sacks on a ramshackle sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. 
Then the Grinch said, get up, and the sleigh started down toward the homes where the Who's lay a snooze in their town. All their windows were dark, quiet snow filled the air. All the Who's were all dreaming sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house on the square. This is stop number one, the old Grinchy Claws hissed, and he climbed to the roof empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the chimney, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace flue. Were the little who stockings all hung in a row, these stockings, he grinned, are the first things to go. Then he slithered and slunk, with a smile most unpleasant, around the whole room, and he took every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates, drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn, and plums. and he stuffed them in bags. Then the Grinch, very nimbly, stuffed all the bags, one by one, up the chimbly. Then he slunk to the icebox. He took the Who's feast. He took the Who pudding. He took the roast beast. He cleaned out that icebox as quick as a flash. Why that Grinch even took their last can of hoo hash. Then he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. And the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove. When he heard a small sound, like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast, and he saw a small who, little Cindy Lou who, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter, who'd got out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking our Christmas tree? Why? But you know, that old Grinch was so smart and so slick. He thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot, the fake Santa Claus lied. There's a light on this tree that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, then I'll bring it back here. And his fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head, and he got her a drink, and he sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up. Then the last thing he took was the log for their fire. Then he went up the chimney himself, the old liar. On their walls he left nothing but hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food that he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other Who's houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other Who's mouses. It was quarter past dawn, all the Who's still abed, all the Who's still a snooze when he packed up his sled. Packed it up with their presents, the ribbons, the wrappings, 
the tags and the tinsel, the trimmings, the trappings. 3,000 feet up, up the side of Mount Crumpet, he rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the who's, he was grinchishly humming. They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open a minute or two. Then the who's down in Whoville will all cry, boo hoo. That's a noise, grinned the Grinch, that I simply must hear. So he paused, and the Grinch put his hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in low, then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, the sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so, but it was merry, very. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every Who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presence at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without tags. It came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight, he whizzed with his load through the bright morning light And he brought back the toys and the food for the feast. And he, he himself, the Grinch carved the roast beast. Llama Llama Holiday Drama by Anna Dudney Llama Llama Holidays Jingle music, lights ablaze Sparkly candles, yummy bread Dress-up clothes in green and red. How long till that special date? Llama Llama has to wait. Llama Llama holidays. Ads and signs and store displays. Fluffy snow and funny elves. Goodies piled high on shelves. Just how many days to go? Llama Llama wants to know. Time to buy and search and shop. Mama carries. Llama drops. Buy a friend a rubber duck? Pirate ship or tractor truck? Wooden blocks or building set? What will Llama Llama get? Llama Llama Holidays Hustle Bustle Cooking Craze Measure Sugar Roll the Dough Ten More Batches Left to Go How Many More Days Again? 
The special day is coming when. Take the cookies out to cool. Frost a great big batch for school. Add some sprinkles. Almost done. Teacher gets the fancy one. No more cookies left to bake. Llama, llama, tummy ache. School has dreidels, songs and bells. Big red ribbons, woodsy smells. Draw a snowman, make a star. Decorate a candle jar. Are there many days to go? Llama time is going slow. Mama needs a present too. Get some sparkles, sticks, and glue. Roll it up and wrap it how? Llama wants to give it now. Llama Llama Holidays. Unpack stockings, unwrap trays. Shiny silver, fancy plates. Llama Llama waits, waits, waits. Cut out snowflakes, tape them up. Pour some eggnog in a cup. Oops, it's yucky on the floor. Llama Llama waits some more. Stringing lights is not much fun. How come Mama isn't done? Is the big day coming soon? Llama Llama starts to swoon. All this waiting for one day? Time for presents right away. Too much music, too much fluff, too much making, too much stuff, too much everything for Llama. Llama, Llama, Holidrama. Come and listen, little Llama. Have a cuddle with your mama. Sometimes we should take a rest and hold the ones we love the best. Wishing, waiting, wanting things. We forget what this time brings. Gifts are nice, but there's another. The true gift is we have each other. Llama Llama, warm and snug, gives a kiss and gets a hug. Snuggles close with Mama Llama. Happy Holidays for Llama. Welcome to Brightly Storytime. I'm Miss Linda. Today, we're going to read a book about a mischievous little elf. It's called, There's an Elf in Your Book, by Tom Fletcher, illustrated by Greg Abbott. Oh look, there's an elf in your book. Elf's here to do the nice list test with you. You need to be on the nice list if you want Santa to bring you Christmas presents. For you to pass the test, Elf will ask you to do some nice things. But watch out, Elves can be a bit mischievous. Don't get tricked into being naughty, okay? When you're ready to take the test, turn the page. Good luck. Let's start with an easy one. Touch your nose. To see if you pass the test, turn the page. Good job! You passed the first test. Now, blow a Christmas kiss. Do you think you passed? What a lovely Christmas kiss. You passed the second test. What's next? Sing a cheery Christmas song. 
Let's see if you passed. Beautiful singing. You passed the third test. Now, say, I'm a Weisenheimer sparkle butt. Wait a second. This sounds like a naughty trick. I think Elf is testing you. Don't say, I'm a Weisenheimer sparkle butt. Now turn the page. Phew! It was a trick. Thank goodness you didn't say it. You passed the fourth test. How is the nice list test going so far, Elf? Awesome. Keep it up. Name Santa's most famous reindeer. Rudolph. Correct. You passed the fifth test. You're great at this. Now, do your loudest, stinkiest pizza burp. Ew. Stop. 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 Do you think this is another naughty elf trick? It was another trick. Good catch. Keep this up and you'll be on the nice list in no time. What's next, elf? Now for the final test. Make elf laugh. Well, to make Elf laugh, you'll have to tell a joke. Have a look in the Christmas joke book. Turn the page to open it. The Christmas joke book. What do elves do in the toilet? Jingle smells. Oh no! The joke was a mischievous elf trick to make you say something naughty. Does this mean you failed the test? Surely you can't be on the nice list if you've done something naughty. It looks as though elf feels bad for tricking you, but Rules are rules. Hang on a second. The test was to make Elf laugh. And you did. So, you passed the nice list test. Hooray! You are officially on the nice list. And look. What's this? Wow, it's your official nice list certificate. Make sure you leave this book out on Christmas Eve. Santa will want to check it. Until then, Merry Christmas. Stay nice. By Elf. The Christmas Puppy by Irma Wilde. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear me, cried Santa Claus. What am I going to do? Fuss, 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 scolded Mrs. Santa Claus, hurrying into Santa's workroom. Whatever are you fussing about? Haven't you just finished ten little toy dogs? There's one for Billy, Bobby and Dick, Tommy, Tim, Mickey, Larry, and Nick, and one for each twin, Nettie and Eddie. I'm sure that is all you have to do. All indeed, said Santa Claus. Here is a letter from Polly, and she wants a toy dog too. Tonight is Christmas Eve, and I must do my yearly visiting. I'm out of time to make another toy dog. Oh dear, 
Oh dear me, I don't want to disappoint Polly. That is too bad, said Mrs. Claus. But Polly should have written to you earlier. I guess she will just have to be disappointed. It's time for you to go. All the reindeer are hitched up to the sleigh and waiting outside. Put on your boots and your cap and coat. I'll finish packing your bag. Santa Claus felt very sad as he put on his warm coat. He had never disappointed a little girl or boy before. Santa Claus looked down at his own dog, Jingle, and suddenly he had a wonderful idea. Why, Mrs. Santa Claus, he said, Jingle's puppies are old enough to leave their mother now. Do you think Polly would like a real live puppy instead of a little toy dog? I'm sure she would, said Mrs. Claus. How smart you are, Santa, to think of such a wonderful surprise for Polly. Now, which one shall we give her? Santa and Mrs. Claus hurried over to the basket where Jingle's puppies were playing. There were three puppies in the basket. A brown puppy, a brown and white puppy, and a black and white puppy. I think Polly would like the black and white puppy, Santa, said Mrs. Claus. Well, well, said Santa Claus to the little puppy. You're going to have a new home, and you will have a little girl named Polly to take care of you. The little puppy gave a tiny happy bark and wagged his little black tail. Santa tucked the puppy inside his great red coat to keep him warm. Then he climbed into his sleigh. Off into the sky went Santa Claus and his reindeer. Ha, 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 and a ho, 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 laughed Santa as his reindeer flew across the sky with the sleigh full of toys. Santa visited all the children. He stopped off at Billy's, Bobby's and Dick's houses, and all the other boys' houses, and Amy's and Judy's and Nancy's houses and all the other girls' houses and he stopped at Polly's house too. Much later, just as dawn was about to lighten the sky, Santa Claus turned toward home again. He was very happy, and he laughed, and he sang, and he winked at his reindeer. Santa knew that there would be a lot of happy children on Christmas Day. Christmas morning. Polly was the first one downstairs at her house. She tiptoed down the stairs, through the hall, and peeped into the living room. There was the tree, all shining and bright, with tinsel and gaily colored decorations. There were the packages, beautifully wrapped and holding lovely secrets. And there was Polly's Christmas stocking. My little toy dog, cried Polly. The little toy dog I asked Santa to bring. It's here, it's here, it's in my stocking. She took down the stocking and lifted out the tiny dog. And then she heard a tiny bark. Oh, cried Polly. Why, you're a real live puppy dog. You're warm and cuddly and I love you. I never saw such a darling little puppy. I will name you Inky. The little puppy barked happily and wagged his tail as hard as he could. I wish you could tell me how you got into my Christmas stocking, Inky. Did Santa Claus bring you? asked Polly. But Inky just smiled, a happy puppy dog smile. He snuggled closer to Polly and kissed her cheek. 
Inky would never tell Polly how it happened that he came to live with her. It was a lovely Christmas for Polly and Inky. Polly got her Christmas wish, and Inky had a little girl to take care of him, and play with him, and love him. What's your favorite part of the holiday season? It can be hard waiting for that special day to finally arrive, but take the time to enjoy everything leading up to it as well. Subscribe to see more stories posted every week, or find more books to read yourself at readbrightly.com. Bye!